From now on, we'd like to get started with the Prime Minister's conference call, uh, press conference. First of all, there will be remarks from Prime Minister, and then we'd like to take questions about the COVID-19. Now, in the world, it's raging, and 500,000 more people have been infected, and for the first 100,000, so until that point, 60 days have spent. However, within just two days recently, there was a hike of 100,000. So now uh, it's going through an expansive expansion in several countries. Hundreds of deaths are occurring, and severe patients cannot be provided enough and medical support. So medical collapse, uh, such sort of a situation is happening. This is something that we cannot uh, really uh, see as somebody else issue. With a short span of time in Japan, we might see the same kind of situation. So with a sense of urgency, we have to take the utmost precaution. And this is something that I'd like to ask people of Japan so far in Japan with the experts panel and with the health offices and with the medical institutions workers, thanks to their efforts, so-called cluster situation is not occurring or mass infection. Or in terms of clusters, excuse me, clusters, and the early discovery of such signs have been discovered. However, now untraceable infections are happening in Tokyo and Osaka. Around urban areas, there have been expansion of such. And without being able to trace the infection channel and how many people are exist in between, we have no idea. Uncontrollable infection chain. If that happens, then at some point of time, explosive expansion of the infection might happen. So sort of overshoot situation or rapid increase, such likelihood. On 25th, the Tokyo governor said that it is a critical moment in day and night, or during uh, nighttime and during weekday, weekdays, she asked people in Tokyo to stay inside, uh, or and in Tokyo and uh, Saitama and other areas and Kanagawa, and there was a corporation asked for people not to uh, go out unnecessarily. And in Kumamoto and in Osaka, uh, people are also uh, requested to stay indoors inside of their houses. And cooperation uh, with such municipalities is also something that I'd like to ask. Once an explosive expansion happens, and given the situation in the West, within two weeks, the number of infections might become 30 times as much. If that happens, then the speed of the infection has to be curbed as much as possible, and the peak has to be postponed. Such scenario will be collapsed overnight. Compared with the Western countries, the total number of infection is lower. That might be the assumption of many people. However, what we are seeing over time, including incubation period, this is just a reflection of what happened or um, infections which happened two weeks ago already, explosive expansion, if that is already happening, uh, this is not something that we can discover right away. Only in two weeks, it is reflected on numbers. And once it happens, then the speed of the infection will be uncontrollable. This is the most threatening factor or element of this infection. With unwavering determination, we have to keep fighting against this virus. SDFs will be mobilized, have been mobilized 
to fundamentally reinforce our border controls. And two days ago, uh, there was a cabinet decision out about the special task force within the government. And to all the prefectures, the task forces have been just installed. And in close collaboration with the municipalities, the worst case scenario will be envisioned. And that way, the prevention of the in infection uh, spread uh, will be something that, that we'd like to really stay focused on unnecessary and an urgent, no urgent um, going out uh, should be prevented and mass infection risks should be avoided in order to make it happen. Uh, three conditions have to be avoided as, as much as possible. Number one, poorly ventilated, uh, closed off space and a strong concentration of people. Number three, close range conversation. So close and very ventilated and the close concentration of people and the close range conversation. These have to be avoided. And after the turn of the year, uh, towards the resumption uh, of the school operations, uh, the next stipulated uh, guidelines. So ventilation has to be ensured so that the uh, three conditions can be somehow avoided. And in each uh, school field, thorough implementation of such has to be done so that uh, we can protect the safety of children. And towards the resumption next week, once again, uh, expert panel meeting will take place. And from an expert's point of view, based on their expertise, we'd like to listen to their insights. And the panel said, it is a crucial time and one month has passed uh, since the expression of such view. And during this timing, there are some things which have been discovered, like uh, three conditions, however, and the cancellation or scaling back mass events has been requested. And as such, uh, we have asked uh, people to cooperate in a significant way. Once again, I'd like to take this opportunity to appreciate your cooperation. Within one month, uh, people might be already tired of self-restraint or quarantine period for coronavirus. However, once rapid expansion happened in the West, uh, there was a lockdown of the cities and people are forcibly requested to stay indoors or inside their houses and a very forcible actions has to be put into place currently. There has been a lot of trouble that we are asking people, however, in order to avert such a forcible actions, uh, that is the whole intent of this action requested. Once again, in Japan, unlike what's happening in the West, at this point of time, we are holding up at the very edge. However, once the sack is allowed, we will have a rapid expansion even when overshoot situation can be averted. Then for a long period of time, quarantine period has to be sustained. That's what it means. So therefore, uh, this battle is going to be a long range and a long period of time. Uh, this is something that I have to candidly say. And in order to prevent the spread of the infection, I'd like to ask continuous support among the gen general public. And as for the government of Japan, as soon as possible, in order to alleviate people's concerns, the effective uh, therapeutic vaccination and drugs development, by gathering the wisdom of the world, we'd like to accelerate such a process. And the other day, by your TV conference, there was an implementation or execution of G20 summit and the G7 summit, and there was a strong insistence on this point. And from world leaders, there was a strong endorsement in Japan for drugs. Regarding for drugs, already observational study and their administration started among them as a therapeutic drug for COVID-19 approval and side effects have been discovered about Avigan and so far, 
uh, within dozens of cases, uh, there has been administration. Uh, this is a drug to contain the proliferation of the virus, and this has been uh, effective for alleviation of their symptoms. Avigan, in uh, many countries overseas, there are keen interest on this drug. And in going forward, the country who uh, wants to participate, we will expand the clinical trial, and we will start the uh, increased production of the drug product as a cure drug of the uh, uh, novel coronavirus in order to officially approve as a drug. We will officially start the uh, trial process and for the Evora fever, uh, Lemdecibel uh, to treat Evora uh, hemorrhage fever. The international uh, joint uh, study has already started, and the fifth candidate, Suyem, uh, of Sun, is the uh, treatment drug for Suyem. As an observational study in going forward with the uh, patients who uh, have uh, uh, consent, we will start the trial. And uh, currently, the treatment drugs and vaccines for the development at the universities and also at the private uh, enterprises, there are a lot of actions taking place. And uh, by boosting the uh, support to these efforts, we will explore all the possible options, not just in Japan, but globally. Uh, we are covered by the unpredicted concern. And uh, with the uh, innovative power of Japan, we will ignite the fire of hope. That's how we want to uh, act. And we are in a, a very uh, difficult situation that's unprecedented. And we will be taking a bold action. Yesterday, the new fiscal year budget was approved. And with that, the medical and the nursing care can be expanded and also the uh, uh, reducing all the uh, free of charge uh, higher education, uh, we can uh, uh, put this into an enforcement without delay from next fiscal year. And as a task force, I will, uh, I will make an instruction uh, to work on the uh, emergency economic measure. And uh, this is also very exceptional. Then next fiscal year's uh, supplemental budget will be compiled. And uh, at, as soon as possible, we will submit the bill uh, this uh, budget uh, to the uh, diet. And for the fiscal measures and the financial measures with all the possible measures, unprecedented uh, powerful package will be compilated and then uh, we will execute them. And for seven times, we've heard from the field and from the communities. And uh, various actions were suspended and total Japan market there is a severe impact to our economy. And in next month, the bus reservation, YOY, is 90% reduction. And the air, uh, airplane industry, flight industry, all the uh, full year uh, operating profit has been wiped out. And the restaurants and accommodations sales, about 80% or 90%, many of them, uh, they're seeing a reduction in music industry events were canceled, and the sales, the revenue is not even zero. They're seeing negative. That's what I've heard. So it is very unpredict unpredictable and invisible, uh, invisible. It is a survival, issue of a survival. That's what the industry said. But we are enduring uh, through this difficult uh, difficult face. That's what I, I also heard as a government in order to support this very solid manner, the employment and the workplace will be secured. That's my commitment. And because of this challenge time to heal uh, people's pain, the arts and sports and culture is critical through the hard times, the fire of culture uh, cannot be uh, extinguished. However, 
in order uh, for us to have the top priority on this, uh, containing the spread of virus. That's uh, the measures, top measures we need to take first. For the SMEs, the no interest, no collateral, and uh, longest five period, uh, five years of the uh, uh, no interest uh, bearing loan is already provided, and a no interest loan is also available for the uh, private financial institutions, and not just loans, but also in order for us to survive this hardship, new payment, a uh, new payment uh, scheme will be provided based on our current uh, challenged phase, so unprecedented type of support for SMEs, we will execute them. With the reduction of jobs or work, having a smaller uh, income for those households, the small size of uh, borrowings uh, with the uh, uh, no necessity of a repayment or the uh, longer period of a repayment has already been provided. But also the payment for the li livelihood will be provided from the government. We listen to the people in various conditions and the tailor-made support will be provided and also uh, through this, uh, we can hold the spread of our infection and when we can wipe out these anxieties at uh, full speed, we will implement the V-shaped recovery of the Japanese economy and travels and uh, transportation, restaurants and events. In a short period, we will uh, implement or execute the economic stimulus. So globally, we will collaborate and a strong and a massive economic measures and initiative will taken. Uh, that's the agreement of a G7 meeting we had. Uh, and uh, as one of the leader countries at the time of a 2008 financial crisis, we will overcome the uh, we will overcome uh, the size or the exceed the size of the uh, uh, packages that we provided at the financial crisis back then. And Tokyo 2020, that uh, we were all excited uh, to host the uh, Tokyo Olympics and Paralympics. Uh, it's uh, very regrettable, but uh, we postpone. And uh, at latest, by summer next year, uh, we will hold the Olympics and Paralympics. And this summer, we've been, uh, we had uh, many athletes uh, that were, have been training, targeting the summer this year, but based on the current global situation, I appreciate those athletes' uh, endurance and also understanding. And uh, recently, uh, we received torch fire, and uh, that's as the uh, symbol of a hope. We will continue to light to keep the, uh, the torch fire lit. And then uh, we will uh, send off uh, the torch fire when we are ready. That the torch fire is exactly the outside or the exit of the uh, long dark tunnel. That is a fire of a hope for mankind. And when humans overcome the coronavirus as the uh, symbol of this uh, overcoming of the virus, the Olympics and Paralympics next year, for sure, we will lead the games to a success. That's what I'm thinking. That's all from me. Now we'd like to take questions from everyone. Please raise your hands if you have a question. I will nominate the person who can ask the question. So please identify yourself and your affiliations. Thank you very much for uh, participation of many people. Given the current situation, uh, please raise your hands if you have a question. 
So first of all, I'd like to take questions from representative reporters. Yesterday, the 102 trillion and 658 billion and 2020 uh, budget uh, was passed for general account budget. COVID-19 is spreading, and uh, there is a serious uh, effect on the economy concerned. And the LDP and the ruling coalition is asking for additional stimulus package and their supplementary budget. And you said, as soon as possible, you have mentioned about supplementary budget. Within April, compiling such and uh, trying to pass it in the diet, is it something that you're thinking about? In 2009, right after Lehman Brothers uh, fell, 15 trillion yen package or uh, more than 5.6 billion in terms of business size. So this is something that will be per surpassed and the cash handouts will be also something that you're thinking, is that right? So next year's budget was just uh, separated yesterday and 26 trillion yen uh, business size uh, economic package. Uh, so this is something that we'd like to implement as soon as possible so that uh, we can support uh, the economic force. And across the economic economy of Japan, there is a signif significant impact incurred. And in size with that magnitude, a very powerful economic package uh, or packages across the fiscal measures and economic packages as well, we'd like to implement them all. And about the emergency economic package, separation, and in order to make it happen, supplementary budget cooperation, right after this press conference, there will be an instruction given. And going forward, 10 days or in 10 days or uh, nearly that period of time, we'd like to compile them so that uh, we can pass it to the right session as soon as possible. As uh, a speedy action is very required. So therefore, within 10 days duration, uh, we'd like to put it together and we'd like to deliver it to the right session immediately. Individual hearings are underway. And many people are distressed with the current situation, the day-to-day -day cash management and cash flow problems are occurring to those people. So therefore, with those SMEs and freelancers and their self-established businesses, and the people who are really suffering day-to-day -day issues, there are many such people. So therefore, in order to support their livelihoods, Cash provision will be provided. And once the containment of the spread uh, is enabled, uh, close the sightseeing and uh, the food, food and the bars and restaurants, there have been many problems. So we'd like to uh, provide uh, board packages. And across uh, Japan, we'd like to regain uh, faces on people's faces, so we'd like to turn around the situation, and whether or not we will exceed uh, the package, um, which was stipulated after the labor uh, collapse. Uh, actually, we will exceed in terms of the package. Moisha, please. My name is Goto. With the increase of a spread of a infection of a coronavirus, Tokyo. Uh, we've, uh, there was a confirmation of uh, 63 uh, infection cases, highest ever. And you said that the current situation is that uh, you're, we are still on the verge, uh, marginally holding. And uh, are you feeling that uh, we are getting close uh, to the state of emergency? And uh, what is the uh, uh, foreseeing uh, impact and uh, when uh, or uh, what will be the state that uh, you think is inappropriate to declare the, the state of uh, urge, 
uh, state of emergency and uh, Moritomo's uh, associated case uh, with the uh, Moritomo scandal. Uh, there was the uh, a diary or the letter uh, by the uh, the uh, financial bureau uh, officer uh, who committed a suicide, and uh, that's also shaking the credibility to Abe administration. Is there uh, sen uh, the responsibility for to uh, provide an explanation or perform accountability? You had uh, two questions, and. Japan, in an uh, urban area, we are seeing an increase of uh, uh, infection and also unknown uh, infectious routes and also from overseas. In the Tokyo Metropolitan Government, on March 25th, the 40 cases of infection, the highest ever, and now it is increasing. Based on the situation, this week, Governor Koike said that uh, Tokyo is now facing a critical point, and uh, with the uh, uh, collaboration with the uh, four neighboring prefectures, uh, they are requesting the uh, people to stay uh, at home for the state of emergency. In relation to the uh, state of emergency declaration, we are marginally holding at this point. That's how we see it. At this point, we are not seeing a situation of a state of emergency, but we are marginally holding. So we are very much at the edge still. So with a strong sense of a crisis two days ago, based on the revised uh, special act, we established uh, we approved uh, to the uh, cabinet uh, approval of the uh, task force establishment. And with the municipalities, more than ever, we will work closely, anticipating or uh, being prepared for the worst case scenario. And we will would like to ask for your even stronger support uh, to each uh, citizens. And uh, regarding a Moritomo scandal, day in, day out, the officer was very diligent and uh, hardworking, and uh, he um, uh, lost his life. And uh, I would like to, again, send my uh, deepest sympathy and uh, condolence and also uh, his uh, bereaved family. And uh, regarding the situation, as the leader of the government, I feel responsible, and uh, I'm very much apologetic. And the counterfighting uh, cannot happen. So the uh, uh, thorough uh, uh, preventive measure of reoccurrence need to be taken. And uh, as I have been explaining at the diet session, at the uh, finance minister and uh, Minister Aso uh, will uh, fully investigate uh, the fact. And also there was an investigation by the investigative body but at any rate, uh, to the people, I, uh, we need to perform our accountability. And regarding this case, uh, there is a strong criticism, and I take that sincerely, and I will make sure this uh, kind of things will not happen ever. Now we'd like to take questions from other outlets. Please raise your hands. The microphone will pick up the persons on the front line and for the back line people, wireless microphones will be delivered. Thank you for your cooperation in advance. Shigeta san. I'm Shigeta from Nippon Keizai newspaper. I'd like to ask about the economic package currently, especially uh, for dining out industry and uh, the sightseeing in industry. There have been many worries over jobs and uh, the labor adjustment uh, subsidies. Are you considering the expansion of the rate? And are you also trying to lower it out to non-regular workers, beyond regular workers? And there was also a mention of the pension provision. Uh, excuse me, the provision of the exemption. What is the size and is it going to be across the board? What is going to be the scope of such provision? As for our administration in economy, the biggest mission is to secure jobs for people. Creating jobs is something that we have really stayed focused on over the last seven years. Uh, we were able to deliver more than 7 million jobs. And what has to be done 
right now is to protect such jobs. And at the time of Lehman Brothers' shock, uh, based on such recent thought, first of all, SMEs and their small enterprises are suffering the most. So therefore, in order to, we have to really continue their jobs. And starting in April, the labor adjustment uh, subsidies and uh, the provision rate, regardless of their statuses, for such corporations, 90% for SMEs and 75% for big corporations. So we try to raise the rate for such provision on a continuous basis. The most important uh, agenda item, which is securing the job, uh, will be really a priority for us. And the cash handouts is also happening as well. And for people who are suffering from a loss of or reduced income, and then also for self-established uh, entities or businesses and SMEs. In order to continue their business, uh, this is something that we'd like to really more. And whether or not we will really provide it across the board to all the people of Japan, at the time of the Lehman Brothers collapse, uh, there was uh, a similar kind of provision cash handout, and when we consider the effect, we have to be really focused on the right scope. Matsumoto from NHK. Tokyo Olympics and Paralympics, about a year. Uh, now the games are postponed, and in order to hold the games, the drawing to an end of the uh, uh, this uh, infectious disease is a condition, and uh, you talked about your determination, and it's going to be a long battle, but we need an exit, even it's, if it's a long battle. What is your outlook of the uh, suppression of an infection or the point of an end, and uh, what is your um, thinking and uh, politics schedule is now uh, very much uh, uh, liquidated. The uh, fall next year, uh, it's uh, uh, your term uh, as a LDP president and uh, also the uh, lower house uh, will, uh, the term will end. So is it going to be a precondition uh, that uh, infectious disease, the coronavirus uh, ending is going to be a precondition? The Olympics, at latest, by summer next year, we will hold uh, that agreement we reached with the uh, Chairman Buck about a one year of a postponement. This decision at the G20 in a joint statement, uh, we had a strong endorsement of this decision. And on the other hand, when this coronavirus, when this fight uh, will end, at this point, there is no leader of, of uh, any country in the world right now, including myself. And at the same time, in order to hold Olympics and Paralympics, Japan is not the only country uh, to get out of the situation. The world uh, also need to get out of the situation. That's why, and uh, uh, that's what I've emphasized in G20. First, the uh, curing drug and vaccine that needs to be developed uh, as a top priority in terms of the drugs. We are advanced. Uh, Japan is advanced in the development. And at the same time, vaccine through the uh, CEFI and GAFI, uh, the uh, globally, we are expediting uh, the development of the trial, uh, clinical trial process. With that, uh, we would like to uh, set up a reasonable or the feasible uh, schedule uh, for ending of this uh, virus. And ahead of that, uh, next year, yes, I will have the, uh, the ending of the uh, term, current term as a LDP president and also lower house, but uh, currently I will not 
um, have that in mind, I will just uh, put that uh, schedule out of my mind right now, and I would like to concentrate uh, on the current issue. Kashima with Fuji TV. I'd like to ask about the start of school operations. There was a mention of next uh, week's uh, uh, hearings with a uh, panel of experts already in the, the next expressed its intention to start its operations at the turn of the year. However, you said that it's going to be a long battle and the policies for uh, restarting the operations might change based on their view, is that right? The situation over COVID-19 is changing day by day. So, but um, in line with the uh, trends or the situation, we have to really take adequate actions, especially the life centers, the health of children are at stake. So therefore, precautious approach will be required, especially for uh, making a decision over starting, restarting. And on the 19th, there was there was a panel's view expressed, and uh, precautions were a prerequisite for restarting the operations, and the policies uh, cooperation was instructed, and the uh, next already stipulated a guideline for restarting the operations. And I already explained the situation in the beginning. And once again, before restarting the operations actually takes place, uh, with experts, we'd like to have a discussion However, at that stage, the situation may differ, so therefore, upon that juncture, the right decision has to be taken. And from region to region, um, between urban areas and non-urban areas, there are different situations. In Tokyo, uh, there are a, a large number of infections. However, the situation is also different outside Tokyo and non-urban areas. So. Regarding the restarting the operations, this is going to be the direction for preparing for restarting the operations. And we'd like to listen to the opinions and decisions from the panel's views. My name is Egawa. Please state your affiliation. I'm a freelancer. Well, up until now, there's been a lot of requests to the uh, Japanese people, and Japanese people have been responding. And uh, regarding a compensation to the loss or the subsidy, it was uh, rarely mentioned. And uh, as your judgment on uh, February 26th, the, uh, there was a request made uh, to uh, self-restraint on uh, spons uh, sports or major events. And uh, cultural events are not like uh, uh, the uh, top water. Once you close it, it's hard to uh, have a flow again. So there is a request, but uh, there is no uh, cash compensation. And uh, with that, uh, the K-1 uh, competition was held. So when you're making a request, the compensation or the subsidy should be provided, uh, and uh, can you uh, offer that as a package? And uh, Alia, you mentioned about the cash handout or cash benefit. And when people uh, meet the government's request, uh, can you also offer uh, that decision to uh, compensate for the loss? Well, regarding that point, we had a repeated discussion at the government uh, from the beginning from the initial stage of uh, making a request and also in reality uh, through those situations events were cancelled and uh, we also heard uh, from the people uh, who had the negative revenue the cultures and sports as i said they are very important and uh, when we extinguish uh, those lights it's very difficult to reignite those lights i understand but uh, compensating a loss using tax is fairly difficult. Then there are any other way to compensate. That's what we are uh, considering right now. And as I mentioned, 
those who are having a hardship in a cash flow to those people. No interest, no collateral, five year, uh, five year period uh, grant. And uh, another, uh, adding another loan is going to be uh, uh, very difficult. Uh, they also say that. And uh, for those people, we would like to also come up with um, benefits, other type of benefits. My newspaper, my name is Noguchi. Economic package will be instructed from now on today. And the state of emergency declaration is not going to be a prerequisite for this stimulus package. Is this correct? If a statement of emergency, state of emergency is declared and the additional economic package may be required, and once it is issued, then what is going to be the economic losses that you're estimating? First of all, once a declaration uh, is given, whether or not um, declaration is uh, in our liquid, uh, in our option, that is true. And worst case scenario has to be considered for medical services. And we have to establish the medical service system based on this budget, including the countermeasures next year's budget and the next uh, package with these inclusive, uh, we'd like to take actions. There was also a mention of the new benefit system. And given such a harsh conditions, uh, we'd like to take measures. So this is actually the whole purpose. And sufficient measures will be put into place. From now on, about the supplementary budget, it has to be compiled from now on. So it has to include that component as well. TV Asahi, I'm Yoshino. Uh, regarding uh, people's lives, masks, facial masks, still they're short. And uh, based on the request uh, for the uh, um, uh, for avoiding uh, outing, the grocery store supermarket very congested yesterday. So in going forward, but the, let's say the uh, local government municipality stopping the logistics or ordering uh, the stay home, stay at home order, issuing a stay at home order, is it possible for the government to do that? Regarding facial masks, the production, uh, we relied on the China for about 80% of the production. Now in Japan market, to the uh, corporations, uh, to enterprises who want to support uh, the mask production, we are uh, providing a subsidy, uh, including Sharp uh, Corporation. They are now uh, in a full-scale production uh, for to produce masks. About more than 600 million units of uh, masks being supplied. Uh, so we secured the uh, enough um, volume for the demand and also for uh, incremental capacity. We will provide 700 million facial masks in next month, but the demand of a facial mask is much greater than usual. So the production capacity hasn't caught up with the, uh, the market demand. I deeply apologize. And uh, with the, uh, uh, we will work on the additional economic measures uh, to secure the supply to medical institutions, more than 15 million uh, sheets of masks we secured for the uh, medical institutions. More than 2 million of the uh, masks have already been distributed to all uh, prefectures. Um, by next month, it will fully distribute it. So in April, additional 15 million uh, will be distributed. And uh, nursing care facilities and uh, elderly care facilities, cloth uh, masks uh, will be provided to IG Prefecture. Already uh, 150,000 uh, units have arrived. And uh, we will secure uh, 20 million units by next week. And a necessary portion will be provided uh, to facility operators 
and also to the、uh, schools in Japan will be restarting in April. And for the schools, 11 million units. So, 11 million units. Of the、uh, cloth mask. So it is more than the total、uh, school population, including teachers,、uh, which is about uh, uh, 9 million. And、uh, washing with a detergent, it can be reused, so it is not disposable. It can be repeatedly used. So, with the to amend, to accommodate the、uh, sharply growing demand. And More than 100 million units of cloth mask production is expected next month.、Uh, so, to contain the spread of infection, we will continue to distribute enough p o r t i o n of masks. And、uh, regarding the situation like a lockdown, but in comparison versus France, the penalized,、uh, it is not possible, but the from governor. It is going to be、uh, instructions and requests. It is going to be different from the situation of France.、Uh, that's how we will seek a support and understanding of the public. Chiji Tsushi, my name is Ishigaki. I'd like to ask you、uh, once again another question about the school restarting its operation. And next week,、uh, given the experts' panel of view, there will be another decision. However, depending on how they decide, restarting the school operation might change. Is this correct? And about the, the cash out,、uh, hand cash out,、um, cash handout, what is going to be the size? And reducing the tax rate for consumption tax, what is your current take? There are three questions. And as for the first question, About、uh, restarting the school operations. Upon each juncture, we need to take a right decision. Within only three days,、uh, the situation can really expand、uh, in the West from 70 to 80 to 400 or、uh, more than 1,000. So, this has been an expansion which happened in other countries. So, we shouldn't stick to the past precedent. Or, so, The next round of the decision from the experts panel could and may change. And about the cash provision, how much it would be, I cannot answer the question in numbers. However, like I have said before, the duration during this timing, we'd like to compare such measure. And at this point of time, of course, I'd like to provide the right numbers. Still, with the Within the ruling coalition, we haven't really had a deep dive. So, therefore,、um, based on my feeling, having listened to what has been said, there are people who are distressed with day to day operations, and the inbound has been a big、uh, engine of growth. And this engine has been underpinned by the people who are now distressed with their、uh, cash. Actuation and cash flow programs. So, therefore, survival of their businesses and sustaining their livelihoods from this perspective, a board a measure has to be stipulated with the right number. And about the consumption tax, I don't have an answer right now. However, about consumption tax, we have an aging, a super aging of the population, and from young generation to Uh, senior citizens, we have to provide the right to social security to all generations. And this was the whole purpose to realize the right benefits. And as part of the economic package, there have been many debates within the LDP and、uh, coalition government. However, it has to be effective enough. And of course, there are、uh, also people who are also talking about the effects. In this regard, from a different perspective. However, it has to provide immediate、uh, effects, and including cash handouts, our board measures have to be put together. And like I have said before, a serious impact is facing、uh, tourist related operators and、uh, bars and restaurants people. So, therefore, 
uh, within the short range of time, we direct to provide abort measures to distressed people, immediate and effective measures will be put into place. Well, due to the, uh, uh, the agenda, other agenda, following agenda, we'd like to have the uh, one last question. Video news, my name is Jimbo. Your own comments or opinions, please. You earlier said that uh, uh, it is marginally, Japan is still marginally holding, but the overseas, are they, is Japan really holding? But under underwater, the infection uh, is spreading uh, in the country. That's what the overseas said. Because of the low number of tests, uh, those uh, doubts uh, are not being wiped out. So why, uh, Prime Minister, why are you thinking that uh, Japan is still holding? Well, Japan is close to China and uh, was late uh, in uh, uh, limiting the entry from China. But uh, uh, despite of the fact, uh, in comparison with the uh, uh, Western countries, it must be a miracle, uh, some kind of miracle happening in Japan uh, to have uh, such a low number of infection. Why are you thinking the country is still holding? Is it because the uh, advisory panel experts saying? Or do you have any reasonable ground uh, or to support your comment? In uh, Wuhan, Zhejiang uh, province, uh, and also the Hubei, uh, we uh, did take uh, those uh, entry control, but uh, it wasn't very late uh, in uh, starting the entry uh, restriction to those uh, provinces, uh, but uh, not the entire China. We were one of the early ones in uh, starting the entry limit, entry control, and now versus Western countries. The number of infections, very small because of the low number of a PCR test. And yes, that is a fact. And almost every day to health ministry, the whenever uh, or wherever the doctors uh, says it's necessary, uh, the test needs to be available. That's what I said to the ministry, and uh, because uh, someday there is a low number of tests. So I also encourage ministry uh, to conduct as many tests as possible. And is Japan hiding the fact? No, that's not what I believe. For example, the number of death, the number of it, it is not in relation, it is not the number, is not correlating uh, the death toll versus the PCR test. And the some have a, a doubting opinions, but the, for the coronavirus, the experts uh, did say, and I also confirmed that the, because of the criticism, I asked the, exactly the same question to the expert. And because of the low number uh, of the death. And uh, those serious people in a serious condition do take CT when the condition gets serious and then uh, having a pneumonia condition. And uh, we also uh, suspect uh, the coronavirus uh, for the patients of the uh, pneumonia. And uh, the interstitial, interstitial pneumonia, uh, not the interstitial uh, pneumonia or but uh, infectious uh, pneumonia for the infectious pneumonia, they are not the coronavirus. So I'm, I'm now convinced. So with the uh, next uh, agenda coming up, I would like to close the conference. Thank you very much for your attendance.